Is there anything at all in De Young's Moscow Mood article that makes you think maybe he's got a point here? Is there anything at all to acknowledge as a fair critique that you could learn from? I would say he absolutely has a point, not maybe has a point. Okay. But this goes back to what we, I was saying earlier about speaking to tens of thousands of people. Okay. So the things that he's describing and the reactions that he's, possible reactions to things that we do, I don't have any doubt at all that he's seen those sorts of things with his own eyes. I wouldn't dispute the facts of the case. This may be the attribution. Well, no, it's what it has to do is if there's 10,000 people and 150 of them reacted in this way, 1,200 reacted in this way. And remember the, the target, who am I writing for? Okay, I've got one person in mind and I've had that person in mind for three decades or more. This is who I'm always writing for. And Kevin DeYoung, he's not, under no obligation to write for my audience. He's writing for his audience, mm -hmm. right? And when what I say lands wrong with someone I wasn't writing for, that might be a collateral damage thing that I regret, or it might, I might not mind ticking that person off, but I'm not, I was not attempting that. When he says, here's, the, here's a problem with what Wilson's doing, and he describes what's happening over here, I don't have any problem accepting that. Yes, I, I think that it's not just maybe he has a point. I think he certainly has a point.